Brushing your teeth twice a day helps with heart disease. So brush your teeth twice a day and you live longer. Too much is true, you have to make it so hard for you. What should Big old man thing. Hey guys, it's me, Nikisha, and whatever. I know y'all hear that. That's literally my neighbors playing some loud music. It's severely loud. Life of living in the Bronx. But anyway, I'm gonna just try to talk over the background music. I'm not even gonna add in any background music in this video because that's the background music. So anyway, as you can tell by the title, today I'll be giving you guys some tips about hygiene. You know, I feel like these are pretty basic tips, but you know, some people still struggle with just these basic tips. So I'm here today to hopefully help you out in some way the first thing that i have to say my first tip i guess it'll be to brush your teeth and brush your teeth like twice a day oh and i'm standing here because the christmas lights are in the back you know it's the season but brush your teeth twice a day in the morning and in the night before you go to bed or however you feel is better for you oh sorry if i'm not looking at the camera I'm, I'm looking at myself let me stop doing that and don't just brush your teeth, you know, scrub your tongue. Because if you just brush your teeth without scrubbing your tongue, you're not really doing much. Because your tongue is what holds the nasty breath. So you have to scrub it away. And I recommend, I know a lot of people like to do this and I don't understand why. I don't know, I just wasn't raised like that. But, um... You should probably brush your teeth before you eat because if you really think about it if you're brushing your teeth okay let's say you brush your teeth once a day and you go to sleep and you wake up and you brush your teeth in the morning and you wake up and you go to eat breakfast you have leftover food in your teeth from the whole day before plus your bad breath from sleeping all that food is like sitting in your mouth and then you're gonna go eat and swallow all of that and then brush your teeth like at this point what are you brushing you already swallowed all of it. So I just recommend brushing your teeth first before eating. I just feel like that's way better. And if you're the type of person to eat before you brush your teeth, at least brush it the night before. Like, I don't know, just just please, just don't swallow all of that, please. I don't know who told you that that was okay. I mean, it is okay, but it's just kinda nasty, just like a little bit. All right, my next thing is to take a shower at least once a day. So with taking a shower, your body overall will just smell better. If you know you're the type of person to get sweaty and be sweaty all day and you sweat for no reason, maybe because of anxiety, you're nervous, stuff like that, like just shower at least once a day, twice a day. And with showering, don't just shower, you know, you gotta wear deodorant, you know. Know your body, that's my next tip also. Learn your body, if you know your body, then you will know how much deodorant you need to use, how many times you need to shower, you know, what type of products, what type of soap you need, if you need a really strong soap, if you need something that's kind of gentle, because you're sensitive. You gotta learn your body. And to learn your body, you gotta just live your life, but you have to pay attention, because a lot of people don't really pay attention. You know what I mean? So pay attention to your smell, like, how, what, how, what do I smell like when I smell funky? You gotta learn it, because you're not gonna smell like everybody else. Some people smell like onions, and some people smell like garlic, I don't know. So you gotta learn your scent and find the right deodorant, a strong one, a light one, an organic one, you know. And if you're gonna take showers once a day, you decide when that is, whether it's in the morning, in the night, in the afternoon. If you're the type of person to take two showers, I believe the best time to do that is take one in the morning, you start off your day. When you get home, and it's the end of your day, you take another shower, or before bed. But I feel like the best thing to do is probably after your day, when you get in the house, and you're not leaving again. So it's like, you're just gonna chill in your house for the rest of the night. My next thing is you are what you eat. So if you're eating a lot of foods that are have like garlic, onion, stuff like that, your body's gonna kind of give that off in a way. It's really weird, but like that's actually really how it works. And it'll also like affect your breath and stuff like this. And if you're a girl, um, 
I'm gonna do a whole female hygiene one, but this one is just general. But I'm gonna just put this in. If you're a girl, if you're eating garlics and onions and stuff like that, like it will come through your, it's weird, but like, it's true, like the science, like look it up, research it, it's, it's actually true. And the next best thing I can tell you is to use products that smell good. Well, good to you, at least. So some products that I recommend are Dove. Bath and Body Works has a lot of things that smell really good. You know, Pink, Victoria's Secret, you know, places like that. They just have a lot of things that just smell good. And they're really good. Another part of hygiene is your skin, like taking care of your skin. Um, I don't necessarily mean like pimples and like, um, acne and stuff but I mean like your arms your legs your your body and stuff like that you gotta moisturize so you don't feel like like a lizard you know that's part of hygiene hygiene is just like basically just taking care of yourself so you gotta moisturize and use good things things that smell good when you moisturize so you just smell better for longer throughout the entire day but anyway yeah back to the soaps Dove is a great soap you can use zest fully clean you can use Dial, you can use Irish Spring, you can use, what else? There's just so many things that smell good, like, it's just there. Like, just go buy some, bro. And depending on how much you need, use it and learn your body, you know what I mean? The next thing is to get the small places on your body, like the little crevices, like behind your ears, in your ears, you know your private areas like just really clean it properly and it'll make a big difference another thing wash your hair you know hair holds on to odor it really does so wash your hair if it starts smelling funky you know wash it and yeah you know i've smelled people where like not like i'm going around smelling people but like i smell people where it's like they don't smell bad but it's like their scalp they just smell like scalps that's just ready to be washed. What? Bro, what are you talking about? Like, I hope, I don't know if you get what I'm saying, but the person doesn't smell bad, but it's just kind of like their hair smells weird. So yeah, your hair plays a big part. Another thing is shaving. I have a whole video about shaving. I will link it down below. Um, Shaving hair and stuff. As I said, hair holds on to odor. So if you have hair on your armpits, you know, I'm not telling you you have to shave, but it's good to shave because if you wear deodorant and stuff, the little pieces of deodorant can get stuck in the hairs in your armpit. And if you're not washing your armpit good, like properly enough for like the little pieces of deodorant to get out of the hair, they're just gonna stay in there and they're gonna be wet. And then you're gonna apply more deodorant and they're just gonna have like a buildup of deodorant in your armpit. Do you get what I'm saying? So if you just didn't have hair there, you scrub your armpit and it's gone. You get what I'm saying? Um, another great thing to do, um, you can always have like these little mini ones in your bag, like perfumes, lotions, stuff like that. So if you're feeling a little musky or something, you can just like, pss, 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 pss. it's not really good to do that because you're just like covering your must with perfume, but sometimes it's the only option. So. Make sure you always have something on hand, but it's just best if you shower before you leave and put on enough deodorant. So yeah, I think that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. This is more of a general hygiene video, um, but I will do a feminine one specifically about girls and I'm gonna go more into detail about it. So stay tuned for that. And with that, I hope you all enjoy. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and take a shower and brush your teeth before you eat breakfast in the morning. There's a study too that says brushing your teeth twice a day helps with heart disease. So brush your teeth twice a day and you'll live longer. So yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.